Hi, Jesse Tuna here with Midwest Electric. We got some questions about blinking lights and what causes them and how that operates and how they work. So uh, we'll kind of set this up here um, to give you a demonstration. And this is about per sub. And there's about a hundred of these out there on the sub. So there's more than what we have here. This, so this is just for demonstration. And kind of give you an idea that this, this breaker probably feeds about 290 people, which is about a thousand poles. Um, and around 40 miles a line, just to give you an idea of distance and how much equipment's out there and w the animals can get on and cause trouble and everything else. So this is at the, the beginning of the, the line at the substation. This is fed from the power transformer to here. It's bigger wire, and this bigger wire also goes out throughout the line, but it's hard to bend, so we just use kind of smaller wire, and as it goes down, the, the wire gets smaller. And this is about uh, 90s technology kind of from that era, but this is the only spare we had at the shop. But it's, it's still a good technology. Um, it's got, it gives us amp readings, so we know about how far from the sub the fault is. It, it'll tell us the time, the date, and uh, w if it's just one phase or all three phases, it kind of gives us a lot of information that we can use to see about blinks and outages and stuff like that. And then as you move down the line, we have um, OCRs. There's no electronics in this. It's just uh, um, oil. And how it works is there's, it, it opens up, the contacts in there will open up, and when they open up, when they see so many amps, it'll open up and it'll put oil in a plunger. And that oil will fill three times and that plunger will push up and then it locks up after three times. And then as you go down, this will have about 70 people on it. And then as you go down the line even further, there's about 45, um, 20, and then this, this is a fuse and it does, uh, a single person or it can do up to like 15 people it'll kind of serve so how it works is let's say we'll start up here let's say there's a fault here there's a fault on the line here by an animal or something or anything and this this breaker will operate twice to try to clear this to get it to fall off the line and then this breaker back here operates once to make sure that this breaker is working correctly and operating and then this this one here will lock out on the third time then so we actually see four blinks but these people are involved in the outage, but they still see the blinks. And, it, and then everybody down line sees that as well. So then if you come down here, the same concept, if there's a fault here, uh, this one will operate twice, this breaker operates once, and then this breaker operates again and locks out. So then these people will see the, see the blink, but not the outage, and then these people will be out. So that's how they kind of tie together. and then. As you move down here, this, this device is a fuse. It doesn't uh, blink, but this one would blink twice then, and then this would open up, and then these people would see the blink, but not be out, and then everybody that's on the fuse would be out. It's kind of how it works. So then, and also with uh, our transmission line that feeds our subs, it's the same concept. Um, so they have breakers throughout their line, and it's coming from the Ohio River, where our power plant's at, or uh, Dayton, DPNL, and up north, AEP has one, and there's transmissions all tied together on transmission get, grid that are working together to keep the power on, but they still have the same concepts where they are, their lines blink to keep them on if there's trouble or anything like that. So, you know, you got even those blinks that are involved in it too that you should see that, that cause blinks. And I would say that if you see more than a blink a month or two a month, that's probably normal, but any more than that, that might be out of the norm kind of concept. Um, some things that cause blinks is, there's, I got a little cheat sheet here, things that I've seen, and some things that you might not see, like you would think that you wouldn't think would cause a blink, like cats. Cats get up there and cause blinks. Um, raccoons, squirrels, there's hawks, owls, I've seen owls, tree frogs, that I'll explain now, that's what, who would think a tree frog would cause one, uh, tree limbs, Birds, even rats have gotten up there and caused outages uh, and blinks. Lightning and, uh, you know, windstorm blowing stuff around like trampolines and everything else. So when uh, some things like, like tree frogs, you would never think tree frog would, but we had used to have older arresters that had a gap here that would, that when the lightning would strike the line, it would jump across there and dissipate the lightning instead of taking the line out. Well, those tree frogs would get across there and cause uh, blinking lights or even outages. So some things that we've done is put Animal Guard on here to help upgrade our system so that way it wouldn't blink and it, it, it won't blink the line. 
And like birds, birds would get on here, they would sit on here and then come up here and, and peck this. So, you know, kind of one of those things where you, you make one thing better, but you might call something else in here. And we didn't have this trouble when we first came out with it, but birds have gotten bigger and called, now, now they're starting to get in there. So we put things on there to prevent that from happening. And then like bigger wire for broken jumpers and animal garden for squirrels, raccoons, and everything else. And arresters for lightning. And this stuff is, uh, you don't want to put something on that would cause more outages or things like uh, weather and, or sunlight deteriorating this and then falling down and getting across something and causing more blinking lights or more outages. So we've kind of researched this and studied it and, and made sure that it's gonna work to the best of us. And, so these are the upgrades that we put on transformers when we work on them. It's kind of our policy. We don't. We can't, it doesn't. It's not economical to go around to ten thousand transformers and change all the, all, all of them at once. So it's kind of like our policy when we go and work on one, we'll upgrade it and put this stuff on. Or if there's an outage on one, we'll, we'll upgrade it at that time and take care of it. And so that, that's kind of like what, what causes blinks and and what we're doing to work on it and, and fix them. And th there's some other things that we got. Uh, we got newer breakers that we don't have any in the shop here, but it's more like the smartphone technology of breakers. And they're really, they're like self-healing where they talk to each other and it's, it's some really neat stuff. If you wanna know more about that, let me know. Maybe we'll make a video about that. But if you thought this video was helpful, comment below whether you liked it or disliked it, have any questions about it. Um, comment below, um, like and share our Facebook page in this video and hopefully you guys got something out of this and understand Blinks more. Thanks.